In this episode, a penguin jumped. I find a parsnip. Well, it looks like a flipping parsnip. And I find a chainsaw. They've left the motherfucking chainsaw. Enjoy. Welcome, friends. Here today, we are playing The Littlest Penguin. It's a game where I assume we are a penguin. I don't know much about it, but I'm pretty sure a chainsaw is involved at some point. So without further ado, let's jump into it. One day, a group of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest. And he also was the littlest penguin. Running, left shift. Yes, we got that penguin wall. We got that T pose going on. Yes, I like this. This is my kind of game. <laughs> just, just pure stupidity and no reason to be made or to be out there whatsoever. My kind of game. Oh, it even, it even makes a noise when you flipping jump. <laughs> is that not just the best? He's got to have a name. I'm gonna call him P, a penguin. All right, here we go. Here's our buddies, the penguins. The littlest penguin liked the other penguins well and fine enough, albeit in small doses. He was much more interested in going on adventures and he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. Hey, we're going on an adventure. You're gonna, today, instead of just walking around the same area like every other penguin, we're gonna go and explore over the horizon. My god, he really is the littlest penguin, isn't he? Jesus, look at the size of daddy penguin over here. Not with you, buddy. I'll give you a push. Penguin push. Ah, oh, you're too big. You're too fat. I can't help you. <laughs> I'm off to enjoy my day. Oh, look, his mouth opens when he's running. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going up the hill. And like you, I might be the smallest, but I've got the biggest heart. Happy pee. Dad pee. Happy pee. Dad pee. All right, so we're going to go down here. We're off on an adventure. Where are we? Where are we going? Oh, sweet. Jesus, I am literally a penguin. I am barely sliding. P, you having a good time? Look at them, they might all be bigger than us, but they don't know how to party like us, damn it. Why be the big penguin when you can be the little penguin? Little ones have all the fun, people. I really don't know what's to come in the end of this hill. Is that something? It's Pete, there's something in the distance, buddy. It's an alien, it's a, it's a penguin. Just then, he discovered a very old, very sick penguin lying next on a large Walk stone. Walker Freeman's back. Won't you please help me? Cried out the old penguin. I'm very sick and I'm very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone. End my pain, littlest penguin. The littlest penguin did as he was told. Yes, you want to be killed with a stone? Then I will fucking kill you with the stone. And to stir inside the littlest penguin after that. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him, thrilled him like nothing had ever done before. This feels like heaven, cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven, given new direction to his adventure. If killing just one penguin felt that good, he thought to himself, I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. How did your day go, P? Well, I dropped a stone on one penguin's head, then I got the thrill for killing penguins. But then I decided I was going to kill every fucking penguin on the island. Off we go. Look at him, he's happy. He's discovered his true calling and purpose in life. P is a mass murderer. I have a WhatsApp message. Go away. I've got penguins to kill. There's a penguin at the end of here. We've got nothing to kill him with, Pete. Uh, they're bigger than you, remember. Be wise about this. This ain't GTA. I can't pull a rocket out my ass. Oh. Slide. Slide. <laughs> Why is it the voice of a child? Where's Morgan Freeman gone? I gotta be honest, I've got zero idea what's going on. But you know what? I like it. This, what's this? The littlest penguin came upon a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself, picking up a club that had been lying in the snow. 
Morgan Freeman, you're a bad influence on penguins. Or is it David Attenborough? <laughs> yeah, you don't get this on flipping David Attenborough shows, do you? We're going to run with our flipping club in hand. I don't know what's coming. I, I imagine their penguins would be a bit suspicious by a penguin just running around with... Well, it looks like a flipping parsnip. Get ready to get parsnips, my glide sidey friend! I can't hit him. He's too quick. Run down quickly. Far easier than the litmus penguin would have thought. This spooked the others, but to his surprise, the little penguin found the more they ran, the greater his satisfaction yeah, when he bring him down. beat them down. And beat them down he did. Hang on, I can't until keep up, Morgan. The last of them were reduced yep, to Morgan. more than Yep, Morgan, I can't keep up with your narrating. I'm trying to keep this in line with your narrating, but I'm not quite as quick. Yeah, you don't get this on David Adam's shows, do you? It's some quality footage. Guys, that's a little mass murder on the loose. P with his parsnip. Guess what? You're going to get parsnipped. Oh, yeah, you look happy. What's that? Got married. You're expecting kids. Get parsnipped. Oh, my sweet Jesus. That's lots of penguins ago. The littlest penguin caught sight of the horde laid out before him, their numbers stretching as far as the eye could see. This will never suffice, he thought to himself, tossing the club aside in search for a more appropriate armament. All right, we're going to find another weapon. As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the littlest penguin felt the eyes upon him. Not really, most the of them are looking the other way. to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. No, <laughs> shifting their gaze. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the littlest penguin. I do not like it one bit. Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the littlest penguin as the others wobbled nervously around him. And perhaps a crown made from their beaks, so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am. This is what happens when one penguin isn't the same size as the other penguins. What's going on here? Is this a fucking shop? Oh, please be like a GTA shop where it's just a weapon shop with just tons of weapons. <laughs> That's the mass murder these penguins. Research center, outpost 451. And of course, they've left the motherfucking chainsaw. Uh, just give me a second. I've got a left shift all the way to you before I can change. So, yeah. What have you been doing today? Good day, yeah? Oh, I didn't even do anything. Oh, oh, so right off, bitch. Yes, yeah, you real. double kill. Yes. This is what you get when you bully the little penguin. Are you going to run? I'm quicker than you. Stature's come in handy because I've got the pace. You're running towards me. You really are not a thick animal, aren't you? You're not as clever as what David Attenborough paints you out to be. Fulfilling my destiny as I join the dark side of the penguin force. Hang on, wait, I need to, I need to test it a bit. Yes, one by one. One by one, they four. One by one, triple kill, double kill. M -m 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 oh, that's it. Try and run the other way with everybody else. I'll murder your mother first, then I'll murder you. This is what you get for bullying me. I have the last laugh. So now I am the biggest penguin on this land as there are no other oppositions. <laughs> the blood all over. The massacre. The nightmare on Penguin Street. <laughs> My god, it goes as far as the eye can see. When the mass of them had finally stopped twitching and he no longer felt the eyes upon him, the deadless penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. Yeah, there's a lot of destruction. They are all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, in fact. The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded, and an undeniable sense of emptiness began to take its place. You kind of killed everybody that you it's knew. It's not fair, he thought. They are all so beautiful now. Why can't I be beautiful like them? Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. He knew then what it was he must do. Hey, do not change for yourself. Got a bad day. When tales are told of the littlest penguin, it is rarely known, and even more scarcely spoken of, what happened after that fateful night. For after it fell upon the littlest penguin to take his own life, it found that he was enveloped in a most suffocating darkness. Eventually, this darkness lifted, what? and the littlest penguin found himself in a surrounding reminiscent of his darkest nightmares. So now we're a penguin in hell. <laughs> the story, the story's not over. The story continues. Peace, adventures continue. 
I hear voices. Going towards the voices. Oh, sweet Jesus, there's a satanic ritual taking place over there. Gone were the familiar expansions of snow and ice. The blue, sunlit skies overhead now gave way to an unending darkness that seemed to devour the landscape around him. He could hear the tortured cries of the damned. The waters below seemed to have been so saturated with blood that one could surmise it was hardly water at all. The air was thick and humid, and the temperatures boiled to an unfathomable degree of heat. We're in hell, flipping at him, but can't you tell? In this dimension of pain and torment, that the littlest penguin found he had finally felt at peace. I, lo I love it, he's actually all bandaged up from when he saw it himself. Approaching the pentagram, with the souls of his victims circled a what rising on throne, earth is going on? This which is seemed Illuminati to materialize shit, from the coarse and abrasive stone at his feet. The littlest penguin took his rightful place upon it. Fought like a badass pig. This has been one heck of a day. Take your place. From that moment on, whenever darkness crept into the hearts of men, or misery spawned from the action of the crazed or maniacal, it did so under the watchful eye of the penguin who had committed that legendary genocide. He had slaughtered, dominated, and annihilated all there was to conquer, and for his efforts, he would reign supreme as the Lord of Chaos in the Underworld. Upon his throne, some still say, the littlest penguin eternally waits, unquestioned ruler of his dominion, to exact pain and torment. So Satan is a penguin named P, the littlest penguin. There he is, Satan himself. Good God Almighty. Shouldn't be saying that in hell, should we? Sorry, P, sorry, P, I probably just offended you. That was a um a rather interesting tale of a day in the life of a penguin. And that's the end of the episode. I thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, then be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good YouTubing stuff. And until the next one, guys, peace.